long as the damp don't make you sick. Boy, you, dandy. Picked a bad time to stroll through this borough, mate. Well, you gentlemen familiar with Puff. An individual in the employ of a certain Peter Bavette. Enough, Buck. Personal punishment. And you, don't you butt in like a belch between two pints, cos you're out of your fucking element. So make like a hare and stood off. Let's pretend I didn't hear that. Now get out of here, before I get tired of playing make-believe. I see you lot are tough in the tongue and nowhere else. Fuck this. We're gonna let some dandy's boyfriend scare us. Let's show him how things are done on our turf. Thank you for your help. That's the only way to deal with this rabble. They beg for trouble. And you're begging for trouble just coming here at this hour. Especially dressed like that. I've come on business. Good luck with that. Wait. You helped me once, perhaps you'd be willing to do it again. For more than a kind word this time. What's involved? Just to be clear, I'm neither a bodyguard nor an assassin for hire. Now, what makes you think I need either of those? I'd simply ask you to accompany me on a stroll. Should anything happen along the way, well, perhaps then you might need to do some work for your plan. What say you to that? Agreed. I'll be right behind you. Keep your hand on your hilt. As a general matter of precaution, of course. Of course. Always do that when I'm out for a stroll. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest.
Those men were waiting for you, lying in ambush. What are you involved in? Those men were common credit. Unaware they'd cast their net for an extremely good thing. I'll remember that when it comes time for you to pay up. Times, my good fellow. We shall talk about this later, all right? One of them mentioned a protector would be of no help. What is this about? Let's say I found a niche I intend to explore. The details I must keep to myself. After all, I did not agree to pay you to ask me questions. I haven't seen a single crown yet. Because we've not yet finished our stroll. I'm afraid I had some unexpected adventures along the way. However, we can now focus on our core concern, and that is what matters. Who's the fella followed you here? He's my gardener. I never go anywhere without him. He's good luck, you see. Just no funny stuff. Got it? What's going on here? Oh, listen. Mind watering those cornflowers over there? No cornflowers here. Look harder. Right, on with it before winter snow surprise us. Got four quarts for you now. I can get you another two real quick. Provided you're not lying about demand. I am Ginter de Lavillac, and I never go back on my word. I had no trouble distributing the last four quarts, and I assure you there's demand for more. We'll see about that. For now, you owe me 5,000 crowns for the last batch. We agreed on 4,000. And I don't like cheats. I suggest you refrain from trying to pull anything lest you feel a witcher's blade in your gut, right? Don't care who owes who or how much, but this man is supposed to pay me. So I'd rather he not get fleeced. <laughs> witcher or not, you can't hope to drop us all. Wanna find out? 
peace brings prosperity. Strife's bad for business. Fine, make it 4,000. Let's go. Pure pleasure doing business with you. Well, that went better than I ever expected. We done with our walk? Yes. And here's your pouch. See you later. I doubt it. 